All right, moment of truth, you guys. Let me make sure it's nice and cooked. Is Jackie gonna break her egg yolk? I don't know. It is time to get cooking. I'm Jackie Saldana, and I've been creating simple and delicious recipes on my website for more than 10 years with my family. And now I'm inviting you into my kitchen to come cook along with me while I show you how to easily create weeknight dinners, decadent desserts, and everything tasty in between. I keep it real, and most importantly, I keep it simple. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our weekly videos. And now, let's see what we're making today. What? Oh my gosh, you guys are back in the kitchen. Welcome back. What's up everyone? My name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I am so glad that you're back. Today we are making one of my most favorite comfort meals, gallo pinto. That is G-A-L-L-O, gallo, pinto, P-I-N-T-O. It's Spanish for spotted rooster, and it is a very popular dish in Costa Rica where my family is from. It's basically rice mixed with beans and peppers and garlic and some cumin and coriander. My grandma makes it the best. I've put my little spin on it, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. It is delicious. I like to top mine off with a fried runny egg and sliced avocado, but you can top it with whatever you'd like or just enjoy it plain on its own. It is so good, so easy. Let's get into it. So I've got all my ingredients here. I've actually got my rice already cooked. The best thing for you to do when you're making gallo pinto is using day old rice or rice that you've cooked and let completely cool. Um, and then I have uh, a quarter of an onion or a half an onion, depending on how much onion you guys like. I've got a bell pepper, green and red, and then a couple cloves of garlic. Super, super easy. Okay, and then I'm actually using canned black beans, which my grandmother would be like, what? no, because my grandma makes her black beans from scratch. But you know what? I'm busy and I just want to eat fast, quick. I want to put dinner on the table very, very fast. So canned goods are my friends. If you've missed any of my jazz cans recipes, I taught you how to jazz up black beans. You have to check that video out. Plus I taught you how to jazz up baked beans, garbanzo beans, canned corn. So go check out that series. It's very, very fun, very, very helpful. But um, anyways, today we're gonna be using canned black beans. And um, yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is open up the canned beans and strain them out and give them a good rinse. So we rinse off that canning liquid and they don't taste so much like they're from the can. Sorry, grandma. All right, so on medium heat, I have a big pot here and I'm just gonna add in a little bit of olive oil, about mm, two tablespoons, I'd say. Yum. I'm gonna wait for that oil to get piping hot. In Costa Rica, there's roosters all over the place and some of them have like these black and white speckled feathers and that's where gallo pinto gets its name from because when the rice and the beans mix all together, it kind of resembles the rooster feathers, which I think is really fun. Um, but yeah, I grew up on this stuff. My mom or my mom made it while we when we were kids, um, and it's also it's such a it's such a humble meal, right? It's just rice and beans and some aromatics in there, but um, it's very filling and it's comforting. And I like that you can jazz it up however you'd like and top it with what you want. It's a very popular, believe it or not, breakfast item in Costa Rica um, because there's that fried egg on there. You can do scrambled egg. My husband actually prefers a scrambled egg, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. And also thinking about rice and beans, I love that when you think of different cultures, I feel like every country has its own version of like rice and beans, um, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, so our olive oil is nice and hot here. I'm gonna add in our diced onions. Ooh, yeah. It already smells so freaking good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a hearty pinch of salt. Okay, don't be shy. And I'm gonna add a hearty pinch of black pepper. We're gonna add in some other spices too, but just to start, I like to add a little salt and pepper to my onions. I'm gonna let these cook down a little bit until they're a little opaque. I taught you how to make arroz con pollo a couple months back. I'll link the video up here and in the description below. If you haven't made that, it is absolutely delicious. 
I got the recipe from my grandmother and in that video we actually FaceTime my grandmother who lives in Costa Rica and she is just she's such a bright light so uh, if you haven't seen that recipe video you definitely should because the dish is delicious and the video is just really fun but the smell of onions sauteing and oil with salt and pepper just brings back so many childhood memories for me I can like picture myself sitting at the kitchen table sorting out black beans because that was the job that my grandmother gave me. Um, so yeah, just very nostalgic. And I just love that now I'm cooking the dishes that my grandmothers and my mom cooked me and my kids love them. And um, I don't know, there's something special about that. Once our onions are, oh, you know what? Let me get our spices. I'm obsessed with that spice cabinet. Did you guys get a good look at that? I think I've showed you it before. Some of the spices are missing because I'm using them right now, but look how pretty. Yes, and I organized everything up there. So pretty. All right, so I have three spices here. I'm gonna get a shot of that. I've got cumin, coriander, and oregano. I am going to add in a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of coriander, and half a teaspoon of oregano. Oh my gosh, you can already smell how warm the spices are. And then I'm just gonna give this a good mix. And to this, I'm gonna add in my red bell pepper. Yum, I wish you could smell it. And my green bell pepper. And I'm gonna give it a good stir. And then I'm gonna also add in my garlic. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna just cook these down until the peppers are nice and soft and the spices are good and toasty. Peppers are nice and soft. I do like a little bit of bite to them, so you can cook them down longer if you'd like, but this looks perfect to me. So to this, I'm going to add my rice. And this is one cup of rice cooked. Just add that in there. It looks like a lot more than one cup because it's cooked, right? So you want one cup of rice cooked with two cups of water. I hope you guys know how to make rice. If you don't and you need a little bit of direction, that's totally fine. Just leave any questions you have in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them. Next up, we're gonna add in one can of drained and rinsed black beans. I'll lower the heat just a smidge. All right, I'm gonna give this a nice good stir. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and cook it on low for about, I don't know, maybe like eight to 10 minutes just so the rice gets warmed through and the beans cook. While this warms, I'm going to fry up an egg. Now listen, everyone fries an egg differently but I, you can fry it in coconut oil, you can fry it in a little bit of butter, but I just do a little drizzle of olive oil. Ooh, baby, this avocado feels nice and ready. The other thing that is like extremely popular in Costa Rica is something called salsa lisano. It's like this sweet, a little bit savory salsa um, that you put on everything in Costa Rica, especially gallo pinto. Whatever we eat, we put salsa lisano on it. It's kind of hard to find this in the States. I order mine off Amazon, but my family and I recently just went and visited Costa Rica. If you haven't watched our Costa Rica vlogs, you definitely should check them out. We actually hadn't seen my grandma for two years uh, and we went and we surprised her. She had no idea we were coming. So uh, we vlogged our whole trip and we traveled around the country a bit and you should definitely check out those vlogs if you haven't already. So I've got my salsa lisano. I've got my avocado waiting. I'm gonna fry up my delicious egg now. All right, careful not to break the yolk. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Oh, not nearly enough pepper. There we go. All right, we're gonna cook this slow and low. I love when it's like little crispy on the edges like that. You see that yummy crispiness? That's always a good indicator it's time to flip. Use my thinnest spatula and with 
the most grace. Oh my God, this would be so embarrassing if I break my yolk. I like to flip it ever so gently. <sighs> Lower the heat. Let it do its thing for a little bit. While we're here, oh yeah, I'm getting excited, you guys. Oh, it's so delicious. All right, I'm gonna scoop some up. Oh my God, it smells just like my grandma's house. Pour some in here. Yum. Got my rice and beans. Cover that. All right, moment of truth, you guys. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and cooked. Is Jackie gonna break her egg yolk? I don't know. What? And you can tell, look at how it's nice and runny. My favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over to the side of it. Yum! Now let's add in the avocado and the salsa. I said this before, this is a very humble meal, so it might not look as gorgeous as, you know, another type of meal, but, oh, this avocado looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna slice a little bit of avocado. Sliced avocado. This big old chunk right here. Oh, it was looking prettier, but there we go. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna shake up my salsa lisano. I'm gonna give it a good little drizzle. Whoa, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm ready to dig in, but my favorite part obviously is breaking this egg yolk oh, and letting it get yolky over here. I don't even know what I just said. I'm just so excited. I'm gonna get a little piece of the egg, a little piece of the avocado, the avocado, the avocado, avocate, and take a giant bite. Oh my gosh. It tastes so good. It's savory. It's flavorful with the cumin and the coriander. You can top this off with fresh cilantro if you like that kind of thing. You can, um, if you don't like runny egg, I totally get it. My husband is terrified of them. Um, you can do scrambled egg. You can omit the egg. Just do the avocado or just eat it on its own. It is so good. It is worth a try. This is a great quick dinner during the week you can throw together for your kids my girls love rice and beans um yeah i think you should definitely try it if you haven't already if you and your family have a different variation of rice and beans let me know down below in the comments how you and your family like to enjoy rice and beans if you guys have a family tried and true recipe i would love to know leave it down below in the comments and we can all inspire each other to um jazz up rice and beans. I think this combination gets slept on a lot, but it's actually quite healthy. It's very filling and um, you can customize it however you want. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am so glad you guys are here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.